All right, you're welcome to e Cube on Arsene TV. My name is Judy Olanura, and I have uh, here with me the CEO of Lucy Lemons, Tomisi Akiwumi. Tomisi, good to have you on eCube. Thank you for having me. Tomisi, let's hear the story. What's the story behind Lucy Lemons? Okay, so I started Lucy Lemons when I was 18 years old, so that was three years ago. I was still in A-levels then. I had been speaking to a lot of my friends who are creative people, and they were, at that point, looking for what they're going to do in university. So they were thinking, well, mom said I have to be an architect, I have to be an engineer, I have to be a lawyer. And I, I thought to myself, you know, something that we're all going to have a problem with is finding an outlet for the things that we really love, poetry, spoken word, um, music. So I decided that I would create a team of people to make sure that we have a continuous outlet throughout our university life of for us to share and express our um, creativity. And that's where the idea of Lucy Lemon's birthed from that. And uh, since then? What's and since then, it, it's, <laughs> it's blossomed. It's blossomed from just being somewhere that me and my friends could go to, to a place where we have 10,000 people coming to the site to share their work and to read other people's work. It's a place for empowering each other, collaborating with each other, and creating new things with each other and through, our, through our network, through our website, and through our events as well. So we started off with, our, obviously, our first event in 2015, which was um, empower, for empower, empowering for young people. It was called Radar, Raising Awareness for Domestic Abuse and Rape in Nigeria. So that's where that started from, where we got young people to come out and talk about hard-hitting issues in the country, which is a, it was a really good turnout. It was a turnout that I did not expect, especially at 18. I was like, why so many people here? But it was really good, and it made me think, you know what, we can do a lot more. We can be bigger, we can be better than what my initial plan was. So that's where it started. Wow. So um, you, you had your first program. Now you're thinking of more. So what are you putting into it to make sure that... It's, it comes out well. It so. comes out well. Um, resources, collaborating with other young people is a very important part of how we ensure that this event goes as goes as successful as I hope it will go. Is that we're ensuring that we are, it's it's a community building system that we are and that we are integrating into our plans. So we are ensuring that people that we are talking to about stall the people who are. Um, doing our media are not just the media that is well known. It's not just your beats, your FMU, Ascent TV as well. It's also the young people that are trying to be like you. So as well as we have the the ones that are more popular, we have younger people, Awer, Lagos, who are very they are just my age, but they want to they want to somehow get into the media industry. So we're collaborating and and ensuring that it's not just it's a balance of young people as well as people that they can learn from. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole that's how we make sure that it's gonna be one of those things that happens well. Mm -hmm. Of course, most times uh, it's it's yeah, some of this kind of projects comes um, with their challenges. And oh, yeah. what are for you? What are those talking points if you are to talk about the mm -hmm. challenges? Of course, um, one major challenge, as, I, as any young person would tell you, is always money. Money and getting financial support has always been an issue for young people because we are just starting out. We are just like. We don't have that much experience, so it's a lot more difficult to invest and bank on a young person who is doing things. But that is just one aspect. I feel like there are other ways that people can help us. Product supports, um, media support as well have been also useful. But that's one thing. Financial support has been a challenge. Other, other issues being that the, the way the Nigerian system works doesn't really work in favor of a young person. So as it's difficult for me to go and talk to a, a Lagos like institute and say oh, I'm doing this event and they'll look at me and say okay this person is serious I'll give her you know a solid a reasonable price. <laughs> it always comes down to money at the end of the day. It always comes down to money and that's one thing I'm learning is how to deal with those challenges of being a young person who does not look like someone who knows what they're doing because of because of the way the system in Nigeria is 
not exactly favorable to a young person. So it appears you've learned so, so lots of things. And uh, yeah, uh, of course, if what what are those things that uh, now driving uh, home the point now? What are the things that you've learned to, in the course of this? This is um, like uh, two how many years down the line? Yeah. What are those things that you are beginning to sound like an entrepreneur already? So what are the things? Well, the things I have learned from the last three years of, of building Lucid Lemons and building up to the point that we're at now is that a lot of people need to understand that we can help each other. It's not a race. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a thing that, oh, me versus you all the time. Sometimes you need to be collaborative and sometimes you need to have exercise patience. Patience is something that I've learned how to. Patience is something that I literally has been drummed into me. You have to have patience as an entrepreneur. You have to be able to lead as an entrepreneur. You have to be able to be resourceful, collect resources. Those things have literally been drummed into me, and it's it's it, it has made me not just a better entrepreneur, not just a better CEO. It also made me a better person because I've been able to deal with a lot more and keep calm to situations because of what I've learned through being an entrepreneur, through being a CEO, through being a young girl. Mm -hmm. so. Of course, you, you, you have this dream, it's about creative minds and uh, um, of course I remember when you were talking during that mm -hmm. particular session, you, Lucid Lemons was a product of those who uh, were kind of uh, restricted from exhibiting what they have. Mm -hmm. and. Well, the creative people, what are the things that you notice about them that you want? Uh, that, 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 uh... I notice that they, they are suffering and smiling. <laughs> I, creative people tend to suffer and smile. That's something I've noticed about them. They are going through a lot as a creative because there's this whole creative stigma in Nigeria where, oh, you can't be a poet because it doesn't seem to make money. You can't be an artist or you'll be deemed a starving artist. So I feel like they are doing their thing and smiling and showing you all their beautiful work, but there's no support for them. There's no, there's no hand that's reaching out to them saying, okay, you know what, creative people, you actually don't need to be starving in Nigeria. I mean, if Nigeria focused a lot more on its creativity and its, that creative side as well, we would have a lot more people coming to Nigeria to invest in it because there's so much talent in Nigeria in terms of our creative, not just music, in terms of art, photography, graphic design, product, product design. I'm a product designer. I study product design in university, and I know that in Nigeria, the amount of young product designers, we can come together and we can change infrastructure in this country. We can change the way life is, life is how hard life is in Nigeria. But because there's no one investing in that side in Nigeria, it makes it very difficult. So one thing I've definitely learned about creators in Nigeria is that they're suffering and smiling. They need support. But one thing, they need to be pushed. A lot of kids lose their creative side from a young age because their parents or people around them don't push that in them. They just say, oh, no, focus on your math, focus on your science. Those are nice too, of course. It's good to have good math skills, it's good to have good science skills. But it's also, if your child is more arty, Encourage that side of them. See where it can lead to. I mean, encourage all sides, but also encourage the art side. You never know. My, my little brother did bead making for a while, and he got to hate me for saying this on TV, but he did bead making for a while, not because he enjoyed it or anything like that, but simply because it was something that, you know, it was just, let me just try it. Let me just see what happens. And he was the only boy in his whole class, so you imagine how he felt there. But it's something that if you ask him now to make little bracelets for you, you can do it. Just because he's had that experience, experience is, it, it is worth a lot. And we need to start doing a lot more, letting kids experience a lot more in Nigeria. So would you say you've gotten the, the kind of, uh, the support needed right from the home front now? <laughs> now, now, now. I mean, mm. yes, I believe that to an extent I got a lot of support. I mean, I got a lot of support from my, my parents. Like, they supported me a whole lot. Initially, we had the, you know, the issue of, oh, you're not a, not a mathematician. Why? You're not a lawyer. Why? You're not an architect. Why? We had that. Every family goes through that. But when they realize that, you know, this is what this person wants to do. This is what she is passionate about. She actually, I put in, I put in sleepless days into 
Lucy Lemons, and I love it, no matter what. I can never put that same kind of energy into maths. I don't like math, so I can never do that. But I love Lucy Lemons, and they can see that. So they push me because they know that this is what she really loves, this is what she wants to do. So yeah, I definitely got a lot of... Yeah, we had the whole in-between backlash, but at the end of the day, they support me 110%. Right, let's talk about um, Lucy Lemons' uh, program that is coming, okay. uh, forthcoming program. Let, let's, uh, what are those things that uh, we should be looking forward to? So the Lemon Curd is a music festival. Um, it's also a place for young businesses to kind of explore and grow themselves. Um, the Lemon Curd is going to be on the 5th of August, starting at 12 at Murio Konla Park near Law School in VI. The things you should be looking forward to are seeing exceptionally incredible talent on stage, whether it's music, um, spoken word, instrumentalists, and also seeing amazing young flourishing businesses as well at the Lemon Curd. It's going to be a place where you come and experience something that you've never experienced before. You've never come to a concert where the, the headliner is not a well-known, out-there artist. You've never been to something that's in Nigeria. There are not many, in fact, there are no concerts in Nigeria, no festivals in Nigeria, where the headliner is not already someone that is chopping the tarts in Nigeria. But I am more confident than anything in the lineup this year and in the open mic talent that we're going to be receiving because the, the, the event is not just for the people that we are bringing out to show you it's also for those that are going to be registering to perform because they believe in themselves they believe in their talent and they want to show our judges and our mentors our potential mentors um, that they have what it takes to be successful that they have what it takes and all they need is support all they need is someone that can mentor them that can tell them okay i know you i know you like this but in the industry this will happen if you put it this way so why don't you try and do it this way it's all about find supporting young people and that's what it's all that's that's what it's about so, I mean, you guys are open to a lot of mentoring too from other people yeah, so we have Temple, who Temple Music, a Temple Management Company, who are a talent service, and what they would be doing for us is that they will be bringing in talent to the event that would be mentoring people that have that have been that have registered on, on our website to um, perform at this event. So we have a section during the day called the open mic section, which is where we are bringing people that have registered online to perform in front of a number of amazing mentors i can tell you about the temple ones because they're here but we have some people that i can't even mention because if i tell you who they are right now we will get an a, a crowd we will get a crowd and we try to keep the i mean i can only manage so many people <laughs> i can only manage so many people so we're trying to ensure that we cap the number at a good at a good like two thousand people at the at the maximum but the mentors are not just people that are people that are well known, people that would normally headline. That's who our mentors are going to be. All right. Uh, it's just uh, days from now. You're yeah, talking about August 5th. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what's the build up going to be like now? Now, so so let's count, counting down. Countdown, now. yeah. So from this day forward, there's going to be things are happening very quickly. The lineup is going to come out for our performers. The vendors are going to come out. We're going to talk about our media sponsors. We're going to talk about our. Um, open mic is going to registration will open very very soon we're kind of keeping that a secret so that when it drops we don't get too many people rushing at it we're going to try and just drop it and hope that people just start to pick it up quickly so as soon as that momentum starts going we have the lemon challenge we're doing our uni lag on um tomorrow which is where we're getting people to kind of participate with us in doing a challenge for the lemon curd that would be displayed on the day it's just basically people trying and trying to have fun with lemon curd so drinking sour lemon juice and trying to get that initial face that they make while trying to say or oh, come to the lemon curd at the same time it's just a little fun thing we're trying to bring into the trying to bring into the event um so that's one thing that we are up to so yeah from from this day forward up until august 1st it's going to be very very quick very very Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> That's what it's going to be like. Right. Uh, you see, it's nice talking to you. Thank you very much for talking to me. Hope to see you at the Lemon Curd. Definitely. 
awesome. Thank you. I have with me a uh, part of uh, uh, Lucy Lemons, a uh, very, very important part of that particular crew. Um, Emmanuel Andu Sike is here with me on YouTube. Uh, Emmanuel, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So, so to Emmanuel, yes. we have uh, the Lucy cuts coming. Mm -hmm. So, what are you bringing to the table now? Well, I'm bringing personally, I'm going to be there on the day of, and I'm going to be helping out in any way I can. We anticipate a very large crowd. So I'm going to be selling tickets, making sure everything is going well as planned. And leading up to that day, we have a lot of work to plan and make sure our sponsors are set. The food and drinks are ready for everyone who is coming. So we have a busy three weeks ahead of us. Busy? Are mm -hmm. you guys already preparing your minds for what is going to come? Mm -hmm. I mean, so far we've been in different places. Like I just got in two days ago. So I'm... Um, hitting the ground running, and now that we're all in the same place, we can focus and get the job done. So we're going to sponsors, we're getting the drinks, the food, making sure that the venue is ready and there's, you know, the generators are ready. So if there's no lights, we have all that done as well. Is this your first time, or you used to some of the pressures that comes with um, organizing events? events like this. Like this. I was here, these are third events. I was here for the first one, which was radar held in this same hall, and I think I'm... I'm used to it by now, so this is not a stress for me. It's fine. Everything is 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 exciting to do. <laughs> so it makes you feel exciting. Mm -hmm. You enjoy what you do. Yeah, very much. Channel your your energy to something good. Yeah, it is. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you, family. With me, the winner of uh, and the MTN Project Fame Season Eight. Jeff Ako. Um, Jeff, it's good to have you on EQ. Thank you very much. How are you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, you, you just reminded me of uh, uh, you, seeing you now reminded me of that that particular song. Anything I do, I do it for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. You killed it, really. Yeah, that is good to see. Yeah, I remember. Okay, um, let's talk about uh, what uh, you've been doing since um, winning Project Fem. What has it been like for you? Um, it's been it's been everything. It's been great. It's been bad. It's been good. But all thanks to God, man. Um, released one single afterwards with Ultima. Uh, but now I'm done with Ultima, so I've moved on to um, Temple Temple Management Company, and I'm going to be releasing a body of work on the second of August, which is going to be out pretty soon. So you guys should watch out for that. So there'll be everything I've been working on for the past few years. Okay. I'm just going to put it out all at once. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So well, but, uh, we're counting the songs now. What, the, yeah. What's the number that we should be expecting? No, no there are a lot of songs, but like, they, mm -hmm. will, they, will, they will always pick the best. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's an EP, so you're look, looking at seven, eight tracks. Wow. So uh, video to back it up already? Or uh, what? Videos are going to come. I think the reaction from the fans will make, will, will eventually make us do videos for them. Mm. So that's, I think we just want to put it out there and then let's see the natural reaction. Mm. Then the ones that the fans like the most, we're going to shoot videos for. Mm. I'm mm. just saying that it could be all the way, so. All right. I know a lot of people, of yeah. course, will be thinking 2015 uh, till now is about uh, not uh, two, two years yeah, and uh, yeah. we're, we're expecting Jeff to be maybe uh, talking about Grammy now or just uh, but, but what's uh, there's there are lo lots of things I know yeah. you want to push out there in terms of lessons that you've learned. What are those lessons uh, especially? Um, um, coming out from a reality sh show is actually a very tasking one because there's like so much expectation from people who have seen you on TV. But the reality of things is way, way different from what we see on TV, to be very honest. Because on TV, um, reality shows just make you feel like um, it, it, it takes you to a place that you're not really, that you are not, that, you're, that, you, that you aren't yet at. You get me? I don't know if that's right, but it just takes you to a pinnacle that you're not there yet. Mm -hmm. So the expectation of people and the reality is very different. The reality of things is very, very difficult. But the expectation of people is that, ah, he has won this thing, that's so easy. Let him just release one song and it's all. But to be very honest, it's way, way different from that. So the expectation of fans and your 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 delivery, your delivery can almost never meet their expectations because they're expecting so much from you. Mm -hmm. Well, it's 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 the it's the breath of a new career, you get me? It's just like a new artist when you're out because in the show you're doing covers of people's songs but once you're out you're releasing a new song so that's a whole different ball game so it took me it has taken me like a year plus to to get to the point that i am right now to realize that that 
life is not the way you see it. It's yeah. just basic. Life is not a bed of roses. In other words, that's how you're handling the pressure that's from That's how I'm handling the pressure. So I'm definitely working. Not saying I'm not working, but I'm just, I'm pacing myself. I don't want to get caught up in, in, no man, in no man's land. So I want to put out work that is great, that will stand the test of time. So yeah, that's, that's, that's the reason. And that's the essence of actually making music, just to have a legacy, not just make money. Mm-hmm. So at the same time, you have to make money too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I think a legacy also stands. All right. And, uh, okay, let's talk about. Uh, I know that you 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 you, are, you 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 also studied sound engineering, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, did that particular thing have an influence on what you do today, or just? Uh, yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Um, sound engineering actually made me go into the studio, not as a novice. Mm. It actually, made me go into the studio as an expert. So that's that's it. I can record myself. I can produce myself. So it just makes things a lot more easier than it actually is for mm. some other artists. So uh, I'm just grateful have been able to study sound engineering. What, uh, are we going to be seeing you produce any of your songs? Nah, 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 nah. I, I think I'd, I think I'll leave it to experienced hands. I produce songs that me I will listen to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I, but maybe, in, maybe in the near future, you can never tell. Definitely. Okay, if you don't produce yourself, are you thinking of maybe doing it for another person? For another maybe person. If somebody consults yeah, you. Yeah, like, sure, okay, come do this for me. Let, let's just focus on the music right now. Let me just be the artist mm-hmm. first. Then production can come later. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well. So, you know, um, Temple is managing you. Yeah, Temple yeah. Management Has it been the old relationships? Yeah. Um, it's been, it's been God sent, to be very, very honest with you. Because um, before I signed to Temple, I was at a place in my life that I was like, what the... Sorry, I just wanted to say something I was mm. about to say. <laughs> I was at a place that I was actually very, very confused because, like, the transition from Project Fame to being at Ultima to the phase of almost to leaving Ultima, it was just very, very hard for me because as a young guy, it's just very, very difficult. Mm. I was staying with my parents before Project Fame, but, like, okay. after Project Fame, I had to start staying by myself. So it was a very, very difficult process. But in Temple, I found a family. Mm, they've always been there. They have always been there for me. Even before I signed, like, first time I go into the office, CEO was like, you know you're not anything, right? And we're gonna make you we're gonna make you what you want to be. And that was very, very that was that was that was a very, very that caught my attention because it was like, um do your be yourself, do music, do your music. We're not going to tell you to do this, just make music because we believe in you and that 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 gave me a certain punch of confidence yeah. and ever since Temple is definitely family and um, I'm very grateful to you. The CEO, the CFO, everyone, everyone that has to do with Temple, man. Big ups and yeah, great things coming, man. Great things, great things. Just, just wait for it. I'm sure you love it when the EP comes out. You've had to leave home right after you know, yeah, Project, Project Fame, Fame yeah. just yeah. because. Uh, is it just the norm or just you just feel you just had to? Or nah. you just, uh, um, I think the pressure of the the pressure of of being alone actually makes you want more because at home you have everything you're with your parents mm-hmm. but the fact that i left home i wanted to work and make money for myself you get me apart from the project thing thing so i wanted to work and make money for myself so that that actually gives a an extra pressure and my parents nevertheless my parents stay in, i stay in abuja i grew up in abuja i was born and bred in abuja mm-hmm. but doing the music you have to come here so mm-hmm. i definitely had to be by myself so that was extra pressure, but I'm grateful, man. Everything has everything has just worked out perfectly so far. So for you, the transition from Abuja boy to Lagos, Lagos boy, boy <laughs> right now, it, it's, nah, it, it, it's, it's it's still a transition process. Mm. Truth is, even last year I was I was um I was um always going back and forth, but mm-hmm. now I'm here. Lagos now, yeah. For real. For yeah, real. I'm here in Lagos now. Right, let's talk about shows too. Also, okay. Also, shows coming because most times you guys don't get to make money yeah. from um, from sales, sales about, yeah. from from shows. But uh, also, are we going to be seeing you grace that uh, those boards uh, of ours every time? We one, one, once music comes out, definitely I'll always be out. Once music comes out, and it's a body of work, so I'm not just going to be performing one song. There'll be like songs to come out, songs mm-hmm. to look forward to. So, yeah. Definitely. Looking forward to it. Any collaboration with uh, on this? On mm, some of this nah, just leave it to myself for now. Once okay. it's out, then we'll talk about that. Okay. Is it as a matter of policy or you just feel less? No, it's just me. It? Let's just let, let. I think um, mm. the fact that you don't know would actually make you want to get it. Like, okay, he has released it. Okay, let me go and see. But if you know, you're like, okay, man, this guy's on our track. This lady's on our track. Mm-hmm. This guy's on our side. Let's just leave it at that. Mm. Once it comes out, you go and get the physical copy or you go online and get it. Then you know who it, who's on it. So, yeah. Okay. This is, you're involved in this uh, Lucy Lemon projects now. Yeah. Um, but what 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 is it 
going to bring? What um, special thing are you bringing that uh, you, you think people should know about? Um, for me, it's a very, very personal process because I've been through a reality show and I've been through a competition show. It's, it's very personal for me. So I'm really looking forward to doing this because... I'm going to be helping other people to um, achieve their dreams and become what they want to be. So it's, it's, it's a great pleasure, ble pleasure of mine to be involved in such um, a platform. All right. Okay. Usually people ask questions about, uh, maybe they don't want to go personal. What are the pressures, you know, aside from um, the expectation of people, you know, pressure from the opposite sex, so, so yeah. some of these things. Do you, how do you get that? Do you, do you, also, yeah, do you feel <laughs> the same way I feel, right? Ah, I, I think I think it's just a it's just in the manner of approach. I think it's not wrong for someone to message me on Instagram and be like, I like your music. Fine, I'll be like, thank you so much. God bless you. <laughs> Wait for this my music is coming out now. But but I think you, you should come to me being polite. Don't just come and be like, hey, I love you. Thank you for loving me. I I really appreciate the love, but. You can't just come and send me pictures and I'm, I'm, me personally, I won't reply. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't like confrontation, so I'll just rather not even get into it. I'll just see and i just delete it. Okay, right, so, so it's as simple as that. Uh, uh, I don't like it. drama at all. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all right. drama. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's talk about the, the, the media. What would you say? What do you have to say since you uh, you became that, uh, that star? The, what, what do you have to say about yeah, the media? The media has always been very friendly to me, so... So in case when, the, pressure, when yeah. the pressure could start coming yeah, from the end, always good to me. They always be good to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, good, good, good. It's nice talking to you anyway. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very, very much. We would like to do this again and again, especially yeah, when there's um, when that I'm work of yours are out. We would like, like to see you that. Thanks Definitely. for talking to you. Thank you very much. All right, for all those people watching, some of your fans there expecting what message do you have for yeah. them. Right? Um, my name is Jeff Ako, and just stay positive. Be committed at whatever you're doing and just shine, man. That's all. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you very, very much. Good to see you. All Thank the best. You. Thank you. Very much.